So we read in our main uh, data set and we looked at the contents of it, at least the first 20 elements of it. It seems to be okay. We haven't looked through the end or checked to see that it has the right number of elements. Uh, but I feel fairly confident that Spark read things in properly. For our data series though, things are potentially a bit more challenging. Uh, we have to do one of two things. So the problem is that the tab separated file that we have here has columns that currently are not in my case class. And they're not there because at least for the analysis that you know, we were doing previously, they aren't needed. We really have two options. Either I can add in those columns and then do exactly the same thing that I did for the county data, or I can use a method that's more like the RDD where I use one of the type transforms, a map, and I go ahead and pull in things uh, as lines of text and then map them myself. Since I've already shown you how to do this and it's not hard to add extra columns into a case class, I'm going to go with the other approach. So the series spark.read again, instead of providing a schema here or uh, the options, etc. I am going to just do a text file. Okay, now text file here you can see returns a data set of string. And I give it the path, which will be data slash la dot series. So this is a data set of strings that I want to turn into a data set of series very much like an RDD, I can map each line of this file from the string that it is into the station that I want it to be. And in fact, this is so similar that I can probably cut and paste the code to do it. Uh, probably a good idea if I'm going to use these much. And so now we have a data set of series and a data set of LA data. Let's verify that the series is actually there. We'll go ahead and hit run. And it looks like everything is happy. And so our previous code uh, seems to be fine. If we needed those extra columns, we could very much do what we had done before, but this approach gives you just kind of an extra tool in your arsenal for how you can get data into uh, this format. Once again, it's very much like what we did with the RDDs, and for getting in a typed uh, data set, this is an approach that, that works fairly well. We'll come back and we'll look at how we can join these data sets together and see the results that we get when we do a typed join uh, in the next video.